Today is part of our Back to School Week. We are very excited to welcome to studio Michael Hostetler with Crane Credit Union. Thanks How are you? Me. We miss you when the school year is not going on and we don't get to visit our classrooms. We kind of we kind of miss seeing you. Well, that's good to hear. We're still busy getting ready for uh, next year. So uh, we are so excited and we appreciate the opportunity to share those great moments with teachers. But right now we're kind of focused more on the parents mm -hmm. with back to school time, and a lot of parents are gearing up. They're probably spending a lot of money, and this is a good time for you guys to say, okay, here's some tips and some things to think about for moms and dads. Absolutely. It's a great time to be looking at the entire household budget and the whole financial picture. Mm -hmm. The biggest tip that we can give parents right now is don't wait until the last minute to purchase school supplies. As soon as you get those lists, start shopping right away, start comparison shopping. The less time you have, the more irrational your decision making will become. You'll just you'll end up overspending for the supplies. You know, and it happens to all all of us and plus you want to get your kids what they really want mm -hmm. and that's part of uh, that overspending I think it happens when they see five or six things and and you want to indulge as for the kids it's a good time to teach lessons too there's no better time than to I think teach them about budgeting right absolutely I mean every household ideally should have a budget that they use to manage their finances I mean that's really the easiest way to control overspending and determine your needs versus your wants and keep your spending from get out of control and and kids are usually pretty receptive to those types of lessons. It's okay to give kids an allowance and have them save money for what they want. That's really the only way that they can learn is through real life application. Saving is a big part of those parents who maybe have the high school age kid because college will be around the corner. Mm -hmm. Are there things that you offer parents and families as far as advice for college savings? Well, we always are open to giving financial counseling and advice and there are certain products that we can offer to help. Uh, but we do recommend that talking to us whenever you're embarking on a major life change like that. Uh, we can talk to you about 529 plans, basic student loan information. Basically anything you need will point you in the right direction. I know your website is a great tool and I actually have that for folks to be able to see. As far as navigating it at cranecu.org, are there places you can go on the website to make it easy to find some of these things? Well, we have a blog, we have blog posts that do have a lot of information and of course all of our contact information is on there and our branch locations and you can literally walk into any branch and find a financial counselor that can answer all your questions. And if they don't have the answer, they'll find someone who will. And online as well, you can find all of those locations. You guys have several, right? Yes, we have 14 in wow. uh, central and southern Indiana. And uh, they serve uh, 10 counties in that area, but uh, about 47,000 members across the state. So it's growing rapidly. Well, what has also grown is, again, our opportunity with education essentials to touch lives out there. We are looking forward to a new school year. Tell me about you and your personal connection to this, because I know you have told me how much it means to give to these teachers. Yeah, we, we've been doing it for about, you know, coming up on a year now. And it's been extremely fulfilling for me personally and for our company as a whole. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work here in Terre Haute as well as Evansville and we're looking to expand that to more uh, towns and cities across the state and to help more kids and schools and the need's still there. The need is ever present and going back to school you'll see a lot of people collecting supplies and trying to get things off on the right foot but we're really trying to maintain uh, our giving presence throughout the school year so we'll do it throughout uh, 2018 and the beginning of 2019 and hopefully for many years to come. Well we can't thank you enough and I literally have had teachers I know in the Vigo County School Corporation, Michael, who have said to me, I loved those stories. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you impacted these teachers. So thank you again for well, what you, you do. We truly appreciate mm -hmm. it very much. Hey, stay with us. When we come back, more to come on Good Day Live.